Here we've been given two equations that have logarithms in them. Whenever you have an equation with a log, you want to start by making sure your logarithm is by itself. This one has just the log on the left-hand side, so we can start by rewriting it in exponential form. Remember, the base of the logarithm is going to be the same as the base when you write it in exponential form. So you're going to always start with the base. The logarithm is always equal to the exponent, so that comes next in your exponential form. And then that is always equal to what's inside the logarithm. So this gives us x equals 2 to the 6th power. 2 times itself 6 times is 64, so you could just say x equals 64. So that's a pretty simple one. Let's move on to one that's a little more complicated. This is a a logarithmic equation, it involves a natural log. Anytime you see an LN, that stands for a natural log. And a natural log is just a logarithm that has a base of E. E is an irrational number, it's approximately 2.718. It's sort of similar to pi, um, it's just a number that comes up so often in math that it gets its own symbol. So if you want to, you can rewrite this as the log base e of 5x plus 3 equals 10, if that helps you solve it a little easier. Before we can rewrite it in exponential form, we need to make sure we get the log part by itself. This one has a plus 3 here, so our first step needs to be to subtract 3 from both sides. That gives us, um, we could either write natural log of 5x, or if you want to write log base e of 5x, those are both the same and that equals 7. Now that we have the log by itself on the left-hand side, we can rewrite it in exponential form. Remember the base of your log is the same as your base when you go to write it in exponential form, so they're both going to have a base of e. The logarithm is always equal to the exponent, so that means we have e to the seventh, and then that's equal to what's inside the log. So we have e to the 7th equals 5x. To solve for x, we just need to get rid of this 5, and we can undo multiplying by 5 by dividing both sides by 5. So if you wanted to give an exact answer, you could leave it like that and just write e to the 7th over 5. That would be an acceptable answer. Or if you're asked to round it, you would plug in 2.718 in for e, do that to the 7th power, divide by 5, and that comes out to about 219.17. So either of these answers would be acceptable.